I took this photo years ago when there used to be a monorail in the city. The monorail used to trundle around at about 10 kilometres per hour and it was a waste of time and that's why it was torn down. However, let's try and make it look like it's racing through the city. The first thing we need to do is to select just the monorail because what I want to do is to blur that monorail and make it look like it's racing across the photo. But if I blur everything, then everything will be blurry. I just want to select the monorail. So I'll use our magnetic lasso tool and we'll select this monorail. Because I'm going to blur it, I'm not being that fussy. But you really can see the, the way the, the line wants to stick. And if I go up the side here, I'm looking for that little circle. Double click to select it. And now, under filter, I have a blur tool. And if I go to motion blur, the angle here is the angle in which it's going to blur. Well, I want it to blur just a, straight across the page. And you can see here, there's my preview. You can see what an effect that has. If I click OK, or if I move that out of the way, you can see there, it now looks like the monorail is racing across the city. If I want to select a little bit more, I've got my magnetic select tool, but I missed out on this little bit here. If I zoom in on that, you'll see that it, it, it actually matters. If I hold the space bar down, remember I can move this around. Now, if I click back on my magnetic selection tool, if I hold down the shift key, I can select more. So I'm going to include all of that in my selection. And you saw how that just got selected. I'll do it again across the top here hold down the shift key and I don't have to try and marry anything up here I just start wherever I like and overlap it then come back across there's that little circle let go and it's now included if there's an area that is included that I don't want to include this little bit here for instance if I hold the Alt key down, can, can you see a little minus appear? So if I was to select that area there, there's my little circle, it just took that away. So I'll hold the Shift key down and add that to my selection and it gets incorporated. Control zero, so I can see the whole thing, and control D to zoom out.